subscribe to m code and ring the notification bell to get the latest content so last lecture was all about the introduction to hadoop and spark so in this lecture let's quickly discuss about some of the use cases and scenarios for both hadoop and spark so without further any delay let's get into it so hadoop and spark are not just some tools they enable every organization to unlock the true potential of their data so let's talk about some of the use cases of both hadoop and spark so hadoop is more suitable for batch processing in which you have to intermittently process your data and not in real time so it is useful in the data warehousing application where you have like huge amount of data and you want to process it and have some analytical platform to enable your business users to query that data and draw some meaning out of that so it is very useful in healthcare industries as well as finance industries to get some customer interactions as well as recommendation system and also it is also used in telecommunication sector and e-commerce platform so this will enable them to have a scalable storage of big data as well as it is fault tolerant as we have seen that it has like many nodes working in parallel so even if some nodes fail it has the disaster recovery already in place and data is copied across the cluster so that you will not miss anything so it is also used for mission critical transactions so in finance industry hadoop is extensively used to store such sensitive information so that you should be having fault tolerance and high availability of that critical data so again if we talk about spark spark is all about versatility so spark provides you the real time data processing using the spark streaming api so it enable you to quickly pick into your data and get some meaning in real time so it is very important in the telecommunication industry to get the viewer engagement as well as have a recommendation system for ad targeting and so on and it also has rich set of library for machine learning so you can run complex machine learning algorithms in production and you can deploy it using the spark mllib library and it also has capability to have graph analytics using the graphx library so it enables you to have a fraud detection system where you have to unravel the hidden pattern in your data and you can do that using the nodes and relationships so this will enable you to have a complete solution and have a data fabric using apache spark okay so that's it for today i'll see you in the next lecture